Hello, my name is Saad, and I'm a product manager here at Databricks. Welcome to a new video on data engineering with Databricks. I'm here to talk about unified orchestration for any workload using Lakeflow jobs. Today, when you need to orchestrate pipelines on the lake house, you're faced with a tough decision. Do you build your own solution, use open source tools, or adopt a cloud native orchestrator? The problem, these systems all live outside the lake house, and that creates friction. These systems are hard to use. Different personas have different needs. Hard to troubleshoot. Logs and lineage are scattered and complex to maintain. Multiple systems mean multiple headaches. The root cause? These tools weren't built with the lake house in mind, so they weren't built for it either. That's why we built Databricks Lakeflow, a unified intelligence solution for modern data engineering. It's powered by the Databricks Data Intelligence Platform, and brings together three capabilities, from data ingestion to transformation to orchestration, all in one place. In this video, we'll dive into Lakeflow Jobs, the orchestration engine trusted by the world's leading data teams. Lakeflow Jobs lets you define, run, and manage workflows directly in the lake house, with built-in support for notebooks, Python scripts, pipelines, dbt tasks, jars, and more. You get powerful control flow, for instance, if-else statements, for each loops, retries, and specifying dependencies between tasks, flexible triggers, for example, running on a schedule or when files arrive or when a table updates, serverless execution, so you don't have any infrastructure to manage, and observability built in, where you get logs, alerts, lineage, audit trails, all in one place. Lakeflow Jobs offers simple authoring for any practitioner with easy to use and intuitive tools. Actionable insights from real-time monitoring to help proactively assess and troubleshoot issues. Proven reliability that's built to scale with 99.95% .95 uptime. Millions of workloads every week used by leading organizations. Lakeflow Jobs isn't just part of the Lakeflow Data Engineering solution. It is the most trusted orchestrator for the lake house, delivering proven reliability for massive scale with nearly 15,000 plus Databricks customers and 200,000 plus weekly users, generating over 100 million job runs every single week. Some examples of customers building production grade workloads are Cox Automotive. They run over 700 gigabytes of ETL jobs daily using Lakeflow jobs, delivering data into Power BI, Tableau, and data science teams. In addition, Corning orchestrates 2,500 plus jobs across 900 global users, simplifying complexity on almost five petabytes of data, all on a unified data platform, Databricks. And Volvo switched from ADF to Lakeflow jobs for reliability and better visibility into job performance and failures. That's orchestration led with confidence, built for data teams by the power platform that powers the pipelines. All right, we're just gonna switch over to the demo. And first, a little bit of a setup. So I have to do some sales analysis and uh, build out a reporting dashboard. And I want to make sure that the data is good. And I, I want to make sure that this is run every time there's new data available. So my starting point here is the Databricks workspace. And I go ahead and start a new job. I'm going to create a job and call it something uh, helpful. And I'll start with what we call a notebook task. Here is the sales analysis that I've already done that sits in a notebook. And I'm going to reference that notebook here from my workspace. And there we go. We've got our first job and our first task. Next up, I want to make sure that this uh, that we calculate data quality for this data set. And similarly, I have another notebook that does just that. So there we go. Create task. And then finally, I want to make sure that I can actually validate that this data quality is what I want it to be. So I put an if-else condition there, and I do this. And what I can do is I can reference the value of the previous job. It emits a parameter called dq. And I want to make sure that it's greater than about 90%. I think that should be good. And then as a final step, I want to make sure that I refresh or I build out that dashboard.
And as before, I've already done this previously. So I will just select that and there we go. So as you can see from this, this graph here, it shows the sequence of events and the sequence of tasks that are going to be executed. All I do now is hit Run Now, and that's it. If you flip over to the Runs tab, you can actually see the observability that we provide for this job. But one more thing. Running this thing every time, every day, manually, is very cumbersome. What I can do instead is add a trigger here. I'm going to add a schedule trigger. This thing runs every day. However, sometimes there's data that might not be present, and I'll still end up paying for this. So I'm going to do something smarter, which is I'll start a table update trigger. And this runs every time there's new data available in my source table. And there we go. I have a job that will run automatically the minute I have data available. One final thing, if you want to productionize this job, you can use the YAML configuration, or if you prefer Python, you can use that and use Databricks asset bundles to use CI CD to productionize your jobs. Let's do a quick recap. I hope this video helped you learn about Lakeflow jobs and how you can build and manage workflows in the lake house. Hear about the most trusted orchestrator for 15,000 plus customers, 100 million plus jobs weekly, built for scale with parallelism, triggers, and serverless compute. See the visual control flow, built-in retries, alerts, observability, and productionization with Databricks asset bundles and CI-CD. For more information, check out our website or dive into the technical documentation, which includes a quick start guide and other resources. Thank you for watching Data Engineering on Databricks.